um, I will use this recipe I call it 70 30 in which I use 70 percent olive oil and 30 percent coconut oil and feel free to use that recipe if you're making your first batch of soap it's actually a very good recipe and you will actually love the way it comes out too this video will cover the basics of the free soap calculator that most of the soap makers use so without any delay let's get started so first of all you will go to the soap calculator that is called soapcalc.net this is a free calculator and there is no charges to use it once you reach to the website you will use this option called recipe calculator and you will click on it will be advertisement that's how this website is supported so you can close it and here is our free soap calculator as you can see there are a few options here that are numbered number one type of lye number two weight of oils number three water number four which includes super fat and fragrance number five soap qualities um, number six is the recipe oil list so these are the options we will quickly go through and then number seven here is where you click on calculate recipe and it will generate a recipe for you i will zoom in so i can explain you a little bit better number one is type of lie first of all you have to pick which type of lie do you want to use and there are two type of lies naoh and koh naoh is sodium hydroxide and this is the lie that you use to make soap bars or cold process soap making hot process soap making that's what this lie is for and the other option is koh which is potassium hydroxide and you use this option to make liquid soap so if you're interested in liquid soap this is the type of lie that you use because I make videos about cold process soap so I will only be using NaOH we'll click here which is already selected okay second option is weight of oils where you will put how much oils do you want to use to make your soap right so if you want to make a two pound batch so you will pick pounds and then you will enter a number here you can pick ounces or grams also so because i will be using pounds i will leave it at pounds and then i will enter the number here which is also going to be one what is percentage of oils i would suggest if you are a beginner which i assume you are if you are here i would suggest you always start with 38 percent of water do not reduce it yet try a recipe that you are creating try it with 38 percent and then eventually once you know everything is behaving well how long it takes to trace and how long it takes um, to come out of the mold then you can start having water discount water discount is basically reducing this value from 38 to a lower number so first try a recipe with 38 percent of water then you can reduce it to i don't know like let's say 34 percent then see how it goes then you can reduce it to 30 percent reduce it to 26 percent and so on so once you do the water discount let's say same recipe if you use 38 percent it will take a little longer to trace and it can give you more time to work with the designs with 26 percent it will take shorter time to trace it will come to trace quickly it will come out of the mold quickly but it might give you less time to work now this is not going to be true for every recipe but that most probably will happen okay so there are different things that goes into consideration when you create a soap recipe so start with 38 and then use the same recipe reduce it try water discounts and see what works well for you super fat you will see the default value is five percent and try to keep it at five percent in the beginning super fat is basically the amount of oil that will not go through saponification just to explain you let's say you had um one pound of oils that you mix with certain amount of lye okay let i am just going to throw this number this is not a recipe i'm just telling you this is just a random number um let's say four ounce of lye let's say that is a number at zero percent super fat right so that means this whole four 
ounce of lye and one pound of oil will actually convert into soap and glycerin but let's say when you did the 5% super fat then you have now one pound of oil plus five more percent and the lye amount will stay the same so now what will happen it will convert into soap it will convert into glycerin and there will be this five percent this five percent will actually will stay in the soap okay so that is what super fat is so basically this five percent will help you not dry out your skin so when you have this five percent extra oil that is not converting into soap that actually stays on your skin and keeps it moisturizing or hydrating now that's my explanation of super fat let me know in the comments below if that actually helped you or to understand what super fat is so keep it at 5% and if you do want to make it extra moisturizing, you are making targeting for dry skin or something, then you should increase it to maybe 6%, 7%, maybe even 8%. But if you increase it too much, your soap can be mushy and your soap can dissolve faster in water. Now the next option here is fragrance which I don't think you need to worry about because you can always calculate the fragrance how much fragrance you should use depending on the manufacturer's recommendations so wherever you bought the soap fragrance from you should use the percentage suggested by them so most of the time it says 3% to 6% so in that case if you want to keep it low you can use 3% of oils you can use 6% of oils and you can just calculate it so I'll just show you quickly here in case you need help with that. Let's say you decided to use 4%, right? 4% of oils you will calculate. So according to this recipe, we have one pound of oil we are using, right? One pound is 16 ounces. So you are going to do 0 0.04, multiply with 16, and then there is your answer. Depending on what your manufacturers recommendation is and what you decide to use you can use this and calculate it and you don't need to enter it here you can just add it in the notes and then go from there let's go to the option number five soap qualities you can just read here hardness cleansing condition bubbly creamy iodine and ins and then below that there are more properties so you actually don't have to enter anything here this will be calculated in the next page when the soap calculator will calculate your amounts how much amount of everything you have to use so you'll see it in the next step let's move on to number six where we need the recipe oil list so what we are going to do here is we actually have to add the oils fats and waxes that we want to use to make our soap and if you notice here on this side there is a column with oil fats and waxes and there is a drop down button here that we will use to open this and select the oils for our soap recipe open this drop down and here you can see a whole list of oils butters and waxes so with with this list we will try to create a recipe right now and um, i will use this recipe i call it 70 30 in which i use 70 percent olive oil and 30 percent coconut oil and feel free to use that recipe if you're making your first batch of soap it's actually a very good recipe and you will actually love the way it comes out too so let's find out coconut oil so coconut oil that we get in grocery store is actually coconut oil 76 degrees I will select this once you select this then you come here and click on this click on this little plus icon so I will click on that and you see it's here now in this column now the next oil is olive oil that's what I'm going to use so I will open this again the drop down and I will look for olive oil the oil I use is olive oil pomace so I will look for olive oil pomace if you're using a regular olive oil you pick a reg regular olive oil option olive oil pomace and I will do the same thing again I will click on the plus sign here and it's here so the amount of coconut oil I'm using is 30% so I will click here and I will enter 30 and then the amount of olive oil I'm using is 70% so I will 
click on 70 and there it is now we have reached to the number seven where we will be calculating this recipe so once you enter all your oils and butters and the percentage is here make sure the total comes to 100 if the total is not 100 then it's not gonna let you move forward because you need a total of 100 percent let's do this once you clicked on this calculate recipe you see all these options are now filled it it's telling you all these options here this was empty before right so it basically calculated everything now you are actually ready to view or print your recipe we will click on view or print your recipe once you click on that it will bring out the recipe here so on this page based on what values you added in the last page you will have all the calculations done and here you can see you have one pound of oil weight water is percentage of oil weight we picked 38 percent super fat we left at five percent these other things are calculated and then we are not going to worry about the fragrance part so just ignore that or you can make it zero in the last page now it has calculated in pounds ounces and grams how much of water lye you have to use so from this first section that is here so from this first section actually only things you're going to use is the water how much water we are going to use for this recipe and how much lye we are going to use for this recipe so because i make soaps in pounds so i use this ounces measurement so i take this one for the amount of water this one is for the amount of lye if you use grams you can use these options if you use pound calculations then you can use this i use ounces so these are the options for me here it tells you how much amount of your picked oils you have to use we picked these two options coconut oil and olive oil and it tells you here that you have to use 4.8 ounces of coconut oil and 11.2 ounces of olive oil so you use this and now remember the soap qualities we just talked about in the last page here is the range and how your recipe is so if you see here the different soap qualities are here hardness cleansing conditioning bubbly creamy iodine and ins and this is the range just try to make a recipe that falls within this range so let's see how our recipe is our recipe has 36 hardness which falls within this range cleansing is 20 falls within the range conditioning 61 percent falls within the range bubbly 20 falls within the range creamy 15 a little lower here and iodine 62 falls within the range and ins falls within the range if you want to learn more about these qualities you can always read more about these and there are a lot of descriptions you can find online and the same thing is calculated here all these properties are based on what oils and butters we have used and based on that it calculates this let me clear out the screen first now you can also add a recipe name here let's say i'm gonna call it 70 30 oil soap whatever like you can call it whatever you want so you can name your recipe you can put a date or anything you want to put here and then you can also add some additive information here let's say you decided to add oatmeal to your soap you just click here and you add oatmeal two teaspoon just an example fragrance oil you can add all your information here this is what i do when i'm making soap i just keep this paper near me and i keep making the notes traced too quick came out of mold after one week i mean this these are the different things that happen you know some soap come out of the mold in two days some soaps come out of the mold in two weeks when i made my first soap it actually took um two to three weeks for it to come out of the mold and that was a hundred percent olive oil soap and I didn't do any water discount or anything so it took me forever to take it out of the mold that I had actually made more soaps by then so it, it all depends so but you can use this section for your notes you can use this section for 
adding information about your additives and then you can also print this recipe which is the best thing so I generally print it out and keep it in front of me and then as I measure everything I just keep putting a small check mark so that way I know I have added it and I only put the check mark once I actually have it in front of me and ready to go so a lot of time what happened people actually forget to add some oils or you know something if they miss then it just messes up your whole recipe and your soap could be lie heavy or they can have other problems that was all about this video let me know if this helped you and if you have any questions or any part that I did not cover please ask away in the comment section and I will be happy to answer your questions so I will see you in the next video bye bye